Hi everyone, it's Pagadat Zada here. Welcome back to our educational video series. Today we walk into how to bridge crypto assets from EVM to XEM. Yeah, that's right. In this video today, we have in-depth learning everything about XEM and how to use bridge crypto assets between them. Let's check it out. The cross consensus message format or XEM is the universal language of communication between consensus systems. Polkadot's core strength lies in its ability to connect parachains and diverse consensus-driven systems. And XEM serves as a bridge, allowing complex cross-consensus interactions to happen seamlessly. It's like two blockchains having conversation in a common language. Moreover, XEM is not exclusive to Polkadot. Its main purpose is to establish a universal format for communication across different consensus systems. XEM does not dictate how messages are delivered, instead it defines how they should appear, behave, and include instructions for on-chain actions. In a nutshell, XEM empowers diverse consensus systems to communicate effectively, fostering interoperability and collaboration. Well, XEM adheres to four fundamental design principles that ensure its effectiveness. First one, asynchronous. XEM operates without expecting a sender to wait for its completion. It supports non-blocking interactions promoting efficiency. Absolute. Messages conveyed via XEM are guaranteed to be accurately delivered, interpreted in order, and processed promptly. Once sent, there is confidence that it will achieve their intended outcome. Thirdly, asymmetric. XEM messages, by default, do not require confirmation or receipt. They adopt a fire-and-forget approach, with results separately communicated back to the sender through additional messages. And agnostic. XEM doesn't make any assumptions about the underlying consensus systems involved. It remains versatile, capable of functioning in any system that achieves consensus-based finality. These core design principles make XEM a reliable and seamless method for conveying intentions between diverse consensus systems, ensuring compatibility and efficiency in cross-chain communication. And in the realm of Polkadot, a vibrant ecosystem of potential names awaits like Crust Network, Astar, Moonbeam, Akala, HydroDX. Alright, now let's embark on the journey of bridging crypto assets with XEM. And in this example, we'll illustrate the process by using a star, the innovation hub on Polkadot. And stay tuned as we guide through the step-by-step -step process. Okay, let's proceed with the steps. Step 1. Start by visiting the star portal and connect our star native account. This will allow us to copy the address we wish to use. Step 2. Next, connect our star EVM account by switching chains using the header button. Step 3. Locate the transfer button next to the token we intend to send. Step 4. We now find ourselves on the transfer page and here input a destination and star native address and the amount we wish to transfer. Then confirm the transaction. And Step 5. To access and use the tokens, we'll need to withdraw the EVM deposit. Step 6. Return to our native account and initiate the withdrawal process by clicking the withdrawal button. Step 7. A model will appear, guiding you through the withdrawal process, and complete the transaction by signing. Well, by following these steps carefully, you'll be able to transfer ASTR SDN tokens to your ASTR native account, ensuring your assets are accessible and ready to use. Looking forward to transfer ASTR SDN tokens to a star native account? Well, we have the step-by-step -step guide over here. However, please take the caution into some important considerations. The caution is, the XEAT says, XEM tokens compatible with EVM networks cannot be directly transferred to native accounts, even if they are originated from native account. And to convert XEAT says to a star native, a two-step cross-chain transfer process is required. First, a transfer back to the origin chain, then another XEM transfer to a star native. And for more detailed instructions, please follow the steps below. 
All right, let's begin the process of transferring cross-chain assets to a star network using XCM. Step one, visit the star portal and connect our star native account. Deposit to a star EVM is only possible through a star native account. Step two, choose the token we wish to deposit to a star network. And step three, click transfer and move to the transfer page. Choose the cross-chain transfer tab. Polkadot.js supports all parachains, therefore, we'll be able to view all the assets of other parachains, including DOT. Any assets can be transferred over with just one single click. Step 4. If we would like tokens to be deposited to a star EVM account, then change destination to a star EVM and input the EVM address. Next up, enter the amount we would like to send to a star network, then press confirm button. Finding history of XCM transactions can be a little bit tricky, so the star portal has a browser history, which provides information about transactions we have made. Wow, we love it. And that's not all. Now let's move to the process of transferring cross-chain assets to other chains from a star network. In step 1. Visit the star portal and connect our native or EVM account. Step 2. Choose the token we wish to withdraw from a star network to another chain. Step 3. Click Transfer and move to Transfer page, and choose Cross-Chain Transfer tab. Step 4. If we are on a star EVM, insert a destination address. We need to use the origin chain's address. And step 5. If we are on a star native and would like to transfer tokens to a different chain within the same account, we do not need to input a trust. Otherwise, enter the address manually if we want to transfer to another account. And we may also transfer tokens from another chain to a star native by clicking the reverse button. Step 6. Enter the amount transfer and then press confirm button. And there we have it! A comprehensive video guide on how to transfer crypto access from the EVM to XCM on Polkadot, specifically using a star. We hope you found this video informative and valuable to understand more about the process of cross-chain access transfer. If you did, Please give us a like, share, and subscribe to Foda and Sutter for more insightful videos. And bye! See you very, very soon.